Hi everybody. So today's video is on Jack Sizemore the RV Museum in Amarillo, <laughs> Texas. Hope you enjoy the video. Enjoy. Remember the movie RV with the Gornickies and Robin Williams? Well, this is their bus. It's a 1948 flex flexible, it looks like, and we are going inside. <laughs> How about that? This is neat. I love it. This is pretty neat. Wow, yeah, they, they have taken out the passenger front seat, but this is a pretty cool <laughs> bus. One of the early schoolies, I guess. I don't yeah. know if it was a schoolie or if it was designed as a motorhome, but it's pretty cool. Hey, Tom is driving the Gornicke's bus. Not really. He wishes so. <laughs> he wishes he was riding that, riding that bus. That steering, cool. wheel, that steering wheel is huge. It is. It's pretty cool. It's really big. <laughs> I think it needed to be this big to help turn the wheels. They didn't. I don't know if they had power steering at that point. I don't either. They had electric windows, you said. Yeah, they do have electric windows marked on here. <laughs> A little bit too claustrophobic for me. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. Little cost to come in this little museum. Look at all this stuff. This is all pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Some beautiful old Harleys here. Come on, man. down here. Yeah, look at the FMC oh, here. Oh, it's better phones. And this Argosy on the left. My dad really liked the Argosy at one point. He had thought about buying one when they were RVing back in the 70s. And uh, pretty cool. 1976 FMC was owned by Max Factor Jr. Oh, from Max Factor Cosmetics. Oh, wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is Sid Charisse's dress. If you don't know who Sid Charisse was, she was an actress back in the 50s. And she played with um, in Singing in the Rain, in that movie, one of my favorites, um, with Gene Kelly in a part that they danced together. But oh. she resides in Hollywood, California right now with her husband. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, yeah. well, this, let's go inside the FMC motor coach here. Oh, Sid Charisse was from Amarillo, uh -huh. Beth said. Wow, this is pretty neat. Yeah, nice. Look at this, look at the front seat. It was actually had room for three <laughs> in the front seat. Did it really? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh. Kids complain about bunks in their bunk houses today. Look at this bunk. <laughs> that's pretty neat. This is the inside of the Spirit of 76 Airstream Argosy. Pretty cool little place. Look at how low the sink is back here in the bathroom. And a little toilet. And there's a shower as well. So we had everything you needed. Just a real small rig. This is a 1966 Kenskill. They did a complete restoration of this one. Looks really nice. Let's take a peek inside. <laughs> oh, look, it's got their uh, turquoise. Definitely one of the colors from the 60s. We had turquoise when we were uh, not in our bathroom, but in the kitchen. We had turquoise when I was growing up. Yeah, say not us. Yeah. <laughs> When I was growing up. Yeah, that one we were, that That's right. Yeah. It's a pretty cool little trailer. This is the first Itasca motorhome ever built, serial number one. It was a proto home for Itasca. It was in Winnebago's Welcome Center for 20 years. It has over has 6,000 original miles and is in brand new condition. Pretty cool. Huh. 
Look at this old shag carpet down in there, down there, the yellow shag carpet. It's definitely from the 70s. Wow. <laughs> All colorful. It's pretty cool. Looks like the only thing, if you were to run this, the only thing you need to do is change out that shag carpeting. You need a Schwinn bicycle built for two. <laughs> Look at the little doghouse behind it. That's cute. And here's a 1973 Winnebago. It has every option that was offered at that time, including a roof air conditioner, a Dodge 440 motor, and a buddy passenger seat. Pretty cool. And you could rent it back then, 175 days for $175 for three days, 10 cents a mile. Pretty cool. I like this body style of the old Winnebago's. So here's the, let you see the buddy seat in the front of this one too. So it's got room for three people in the very front of this motorhome. This is that Winnebago. You can see they got all his motorcycles, all kinds of neat stuff out here. And here you go. Back here would have been <laughs> The master bedroom, how about that, huh? Pretty cool. Let's see what's in this closet. Ah, it is indeed a closet. And look, there was the furnace. Here's the Winnebago bathroom. Look at the colors. <laughs> this would have been what you call a wet bath. So you a shower curtain you could pull all the way around and you take your shower right here just make sure you take the toilet paper out first so you don't get it all wet world traveling liner wally byram's caravan all the places that he took this old airstream wow that's pretty cool you got a collection of cameras here motorcycle collection all kinds of stuff here is a 1962 Airstream. World's oldest Airstream. It's a 1935 torpedo. It's been owned by the Holman family for 81 years. Can't go inside this old Airstream, but just, you know, it's kind of hard with the reflection, but yeah, it's not gonna work. There you can see just a little bit of what it looks like inside this old Airstream because you can't go inside this one. That is an air float land yacht. It's not been restored yet. Here's a couple of the Harleys that are on uh, display. And a 1973 tow low. This is pretty cool. Look at that. It's in pretty good shape. It's a nice looking El Camino with a 396 in it as well. Sitting here and look at the boat behind it. Ooh. Look at that. This 1955 Airstream was found in California. In Santa Barbara. Yep. And the stove refrigerator and bathroom yes, have never been used. Never been used. Wow. The curtains and bedspread are original. Pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this. 1955. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty neat. 1937 Cozy Camp that was painted blue to match the Cadillac that's that neat. they towed it with. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Look at the RVs. Little uh, die cast models of different RVs and everything here. It's like the Winnebago Barbie down there, Tonka Winnebago Barbie. Here's a StarCraft tent camper 
when my family started camping, we started out with a Palomino tent camper. This is a 1973 StarCraft. That's pretty cool. It's basically the same layout that my parents had in ours. It's a 1941 Westcraft that was used in defense of this country during World War II. Wow. It's pretty. Let's take a peek inside. Look at the this. <laughs> yeah, look at that living wow, look area. At, look at the radio over here. Wow. Look, look at this that. beautiful Philco radio. And the picture of the Sigourney has been signed several presidents. by a bunch of presidents, including uh, Bill Clinton, George Bush, Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, William Taft. Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy. That is pretty cool. Really, it's pretty good shape for being a year that it is. Yeah, this is cool. Look at the little vents that had up along up along the roof. This is a pretty neat trailer. The wooden shades. Pretty neat. Here's a little more of the story on this particular 1941 Westcraft trailer. It's very interesting. It explains why they never had a bathroom in it. It's 48 Ford. And look at the little tiny teardrop behind it. Look at that. Got your stove, got storage, got a little fuel tank there, got water. That's a pretty cool little teardrop. That's a 1946 oh, it's a teardrop kit. The trailer was restored 24 years ago. Kit is actually the name brand of these trailers. And at one point, it was one of the best known, best made brands. Pretty cool little teardrop. This 1936 Alma sat in a barn from 1955 until recently. It's never been restored. So you can look at it. It is... Uh, Oops. Look at this. It's never been restored. This is what it looked like. Wow. Pretty cool. Look at that all that heater in there. Aren't we glad we don't have heaters like that nowadays? In our camper. <laughs> yeah, in our camper. Yeah, definitely. Pretty cool though. Look at the wood paneling. This is so neat. 1942 Harley Davidson, known as the motorcycle that won the war. That is a beautiful old motorcycle. Look where the guns were on the front. Yeah, it could carry the gun up front. Mm -hmm. Pretty darn cool. Look at this 1918 Harley Davidson with a sidecar. And that's, look at these on the wall over here these are just some beautiful motorcycles so here's a few more Harleys they've got on display look at that orange one up there isn't that beautiful they even have some soapbox derby cars up on the roof up here or on the wall up here too what do you think of Jack Sizemore's RV Museum. It's great. It's a nice place to visit, but I loved the bus from the Don Wayne's movie. Yeah, the, RV. the Gornicke's bus. The Gornicke's bus. That's yeah. so cool. We've seen that movie, and it's fun to see it actually in person. Yeah, so, it really was. Yeah, it's a nice museum. I mean, it's free, so if you're in the area, 
stop yeah. by and look at it. Yep. All you gotta do is make a don. Well, you don't have to make a donation, make, yeah. but we did leave a donation. Yeah, because I mean, so. it helps the helps maintain everything yes, and pay yeah. the bills there. Mm -hmm. It does, it's fun. So, that's good. Well, we hope you enjoyed this quick little tour of Jack Sizemore's RV Museum. It's a really nice museum. I mean, that doesn't take very long to go through it. So if you happen to be in the area, you have some parking along the side here that you can park and come in and check it out. It is a little confusing at first trying to find it. Yeah. yeah. I have to admit that. It's, because it's it's in a little warehouse type area mm -hmm. and it's it's back behind another store. Yeah, so, so but yeah. just look for the big welcome flag. And it's and actually through a gate. There's a gate there, so it almost looks like you can't go past the gate, but that's where you want to go. Yeah, you want to go past <laughs> that gate. You want to come and park along the side here. So it's a nice museum. The guy there is very nice and uh, you know, help you out with any questions you have. But hey, check it out here in the area. Just driving by. Yeah, they've got all kinds of different little things in there you know they've got some race cars in there they've got an old chris craft they've got the gornicky's bus as beth said which is my favorite yeah i think that's my favorite <laughs> part of the whole museum well that was on your bucket list yes was to see that see that gornicky's bus exactly. that's right yep. yeah another thing marked off that bucket that's right list. so if you're in the area in amarillo take a few minutes and stop by here this is right off of i-27 i think it is yes Yes. And it's a, uh, a nice little place. Yep, and uh, we appreciate you following us. Please hit like and subscribe and continue following us on our journey that we're having. And um, uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, I guess we will see, see you around, around the campfire. campfire. Bye. Bye.